everybody. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Hey, do you ever have a pile of stickers that you're not quite sure what to do with? Here's a fun way to pop them into your junk journals without actually committing and sticking the sticker to something in your journal. Leave it up to the recipient to decide what to do with them. These are five fun ways, uh, very playful. Um, and now I just tossed that in my stickles. Yes, yes I did. Okay, they're live on film. So I have a plethora of stickers that I would love to use up. And here are five different ways. These are my prototypes, uh, apparently still drying. Um, very easy to do. Uh, I use some digi kits. You don't need to use digi kits. You can use any imagery, any design, any paper, any scrapbook paper, card stock, uh, whatever you like to make these. Um, and I'm gonna show you the prototypes. Okay, here's prototype number one, still drying. Okay, so this is a very simple design. This was used from Flutterby's digi kit. I folded one of the larger images in half to make a front and back cover to this little booklet. I uh, put a little uh, piece of lace down the center and the reason why I did that, I'll show you in a second. Uh, and also, of course, I went ahead and Nuvo dropped and stickled this up. Uh, the stickles, is that the right stickles? Um, was icicle color and the Nuvo drops was, whoop, whoop, oh, yeah, er, if you were just curious of what that color was, it's called, uh, Copper penny. There you go. Okay. So um, I just made a very simple booklet and this opens, whoop, I guess it was really supposed to open like this so that you have two sets of stickers. Um, this works really well if you don't have a full page of stickers, but let's say you might have a partial page of stickers, but you still want to use up some of them. You can cut them to fit any size that you have. So let's say you have a shorter one, you could um, make a little booklet to hold a shorter one. Or if you have a longer one, but maybe it's half used, um, you can just cut off the part that's not used and put these in here. And I'm going to show you several different ways to attach these. Uh, so this should just wor work for just about anybody, depending on what you have. This was a very simple concept. I stapled these in place and that is why, um, What's that? I don't know. Oh, it's, it's probably a sticker. <laughs> on the back here, I put uh, this lace to cover the staples that were on the outside. Uh, so there you go. That's number one design. Yes, that was a, uh, all right, you little, little sticker. Oh, we'll figure you out later. You're way too small to play with. Okay, so there we go. This is that. And let me put that one aside. And then uh, prototype number two was this guy. Um, another simple design. I believe this is from Bird Illustrations Digi Kit. Um, very simple. I didn't stickle this, anything like that. I just cut out two pictures beside each other. And I'm going to show you how I made each and every one of these so you can come along and make these with me um, with whatever you have. And I just uh, put it together with a little um, uh, lace paper clip, a little gold paper clip. Okay. And um, let me zoom in for you. you take it down there. Oh, where are we? Where are we? Here we are. There we go. Oh, that's really close, isn't it? Okay. There we go. Um, so now this one, uh, I'm going to show you how I attach this. This is a great idea. Super easy, very functional, very clean, uh, no staple needed. Um, and then I put a rubber stamp and the word create. I couldn't find my create stamp. I have now since found it, but, uh, but I still wanted to use the word create. So I just hand wrote it and put two dots, one on either side. And I thought that's just really cute that somebody can come on, come on along and peel off a sticker and use it somewhere in their book or maybe a new journal that they're going to make because they're so inspired by what you, you just gave them. Okay. I have sparkles on my nose. I can see it now for my stickles. Okay. So that is uh, uh, prototype number two. Okay. Prototype number three is the matchbook design. Now this one, I used floral motif digi kit. You can use whatever you like, but basically, um, it, I'll show you how I cut it out, but uh, basically I cut it the long way. So I had one print on one side, one print on the other. I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to do a very easy uh, matchbook uh, tuck-in design there. Hopefully this is going to get it, yeah, it's all as well. Okay. Oh, no, you got stuck up there. Okay. Come back down here. But that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Okay. Let me back up just a little bit so you can see what's going on. So this one is technically not attached inside. It's just free freely removable in this little tuck space down here. So you don't even have to attach them. Uh, the first two ways they're attached. This way is unattached, but it is tucked. So there you go. Very easy. I just used some scrap paper here and some stamping. And we will make one of these together too. Very easy on the front. I just used, oops, let me show you as far away. Oh, well, that's too close. Okay, that's just right. Um, there we go. Okay, this is 
Was it focused? Can't see. Um, uh, a little bird I had from a field guide. This is some um, uh, coffee dyed cheesecloth and I just glued a little button and I inked around uh, this little bird with walnut stain distress oxide. Yeah. And then I used also around the outside of this, a blue I haven't used in a while, but I do love. It's called Faded Jeans. And I just decided to pull some other colors out. Good idea, right? These are very um, fun to make, these little matchbook designs. And um, they're very easy to make as well. So it's a great option if you're looking for What's going on in there? <laughs> it's like something's all weird. It wasn't weird. As oh, oh, okay. I see there's a... There's a, 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 a ramp and a, a wayward sticker causing a problem. Okay, apparently it's, it's all it's all fixed now. There we go. So there you go, a little um, matchbook design. That's uh, prototype number three. And then prototype number four is this design. This is an embossed piece of copy paper. So it's 20 pound copy paper, just regular printer paper. And I put some stickles on it. That's the glisten stickle. No, it lied. That's the icicle stickle on here just on random places to give it a little pizzazz. And then uh, when you open it up, I thought the inside was uh, pretty enough as is, so I didn't do too much decorating other than placing the stickers here so somebody could come along and peel off the stickers that they want. And I'll show you how I adhered that as well. Okay, so here we go. There's that and just these little cutout holes. Uh, it was actually a piece of paper that I had in my uh, scrap stash and I have a bunch of those. I had a bunch of copy paper, printer paper that um, was cut into smaller pieces. And I thought, let me just sit down and run these through my Big Shot Sizzix embossing machine, the old hand crank machine. And I just produced a whole bunch of these with all the little embossing folders that I have. And I thought, and I forgot about them, of course. But now that I found them, um, and I'll tell you all about that, um, there, uh, grab and go ready. I mean, fun backgrounds to use, right? Okay, so very easy. So you can use something as lightweight as copy paper. That's what I wanted to tell you. And these make, they're very thin, very easy. They don't bulk up your journal. Tuck it into, you can clip it onto a page. Um, you can actually do it as a hangover on the top of a page or wrap around on the side of a page um, or put, put it in a pocket or a tuck. There you go. Okay. And then we have this last little lovely. I think this one was a lot of fun. This is uh, made from my... Um, Script in Bloom uh, DigiKit. It's a signature page DigiKit. Signature page just means one of the pages in your junk journal. Uh, these are lighter um, uh, pages so that you can journal on them and write on them. You can, they're pretty backgrounds. So you can use them as is or you can decorate them up or journal on them. So I thought this was a fun way to use one a little differently other than a traditional signature page. So I'll show you how I did that. This one I did sew, but I'm going to demonstrate the no sew version of it because it's actually very easy. The, the sewing was just for extra decor, uh, but not necessary for the construction of the little uh, pocket. So this one, I just had several of these. They're similar and I cut them down so they would fit inside this little uh, uh, pocket. And um, that's a nice way to put several in. You don't have to attach them any official way. They could just live in here. Now you could take this whole piece and you could glue this onto a page or you could take the whole piece and clip it onto a page and keep it as a removable because it does have decoration on the back. And maybe they want to put it in a different location in their journal or maybe even take the whole thing to the journal that they're now making because yet again, you have, been, you have inspired them greatly to create things. Okay, I hope. All right, so let's go. Let's, let's rock. This is fun. This is actually a very fun project today. Um, grab whatever you have. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to put these aside. We're just going to go through uh, one through five. Okay, here is number one. Let me put these little guys over here. Okay, so here is this guy. Again, he's the picture is from Flutterbys, and I have one of these. This is what it looked like originally um, when you cut it out, and uh, so basically I thought, well, wouldn't that be cool if I just Folded it in half. That's easy enough, right? Okay, let me just put you over here because stickle's still wet. Okay. And then I took my bone folder. I can never fold in half exactly. Okay. And did one of these numbers. Okay, give it a nice sharp crease. And then I took my, this is just, these are extra little things that I do. You don't have to do these, but if you want to add a little extra flair. I'm using the Crocodile 2, no, 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 the Crocodile Corner chop, Chomper. These things are tongue twisters, let me tell you. And mine, I broke a hundred years ago because I dropped it on the floor. The thing still works. So there you go. It usually has two wings here. Mine is down to one wing, but uh, we are still able to chomp with the best of them. Okay, so now I have that. And then I went around 
and I inked it up with, oh, I get, nope, I, nope, not gathered twigs, uh, walnut stain. I think I used walnut stain. I strangely have gathered twigs out here as well. Now I don't know what I use, but it's, it's all brown. You know what I mean? It's all brown. And if somebody's wondering what the difference is between distress oxide and distress ink, as far as I understand, the distress ink is just a dye based ink and the distress oxide is a dye plus a pigment. So you'll find that the distress ink dries faster. The distress oxide, I would say you have more uh, creative capability with. Um, the colors are more intense and vibrant and it takes forever and a hundred years to use up one of these because I think the t pigment is so dense and intense. These you can use up, but these you just they go and they go. I don't think I've ever re-inked an oxide yet. And then I have all the oxide re-inkers. I don't think I've ever actually done it because I've just never had to do it. There's so much in there. They do take a little longer to dry, um, and, but you can also spritz with water and do fabulous things with water with this one, uh, with the oxide. So there you go. Okay, so I am just going to ink this all up. Yeah, I think I did. I inked the inside as well. It doesn't take long. So I hope you're having a fun-filled, fabulous, papery kind of day where you're being inspired and just can't wait to get back to your papers and play with them. Um, this is cardstock weight paper. Um, you can do this with uh, copy paper. Maybe you want to thicken it up. Maybe you don't. It's okay. It'll work both ways. So just so you know, you can re use regular printer or copy paper. Uh, okay, so that we have this. And uh, our prototype, again, looks like this. So what I did use in this case um, is a long arm stapler and uh, because I wanted to get to this point. Um, if you don't have a long arm stapler, that's why I'm going to show you other ways to get your stickers to be in your little booklets or pockets without having to use a long arm stapler. But if you have one, they're really awesome. And somebody gifted me one and I thought, wow, this is neat. I, I have to remember to use it. When I finally started using it, I realized how handy the thing was. Um, okay, so let's just pick some. And they can be anything, you know, you, you could like, if you just have a single sticker, that's okay. You can put a single sticker. You can put a row of stickers. You could do whatever you like. These are, these are very fun little ideas. And the only thing is you want to keep them the, the same size at the right size. I think we're going to shave you down a little, shave you down a little Sally. Okay, we're going. There we go. All right. Now you guys, we should all be the same length because that would be a happy town. Um, they can be related stickers, unrelated stickers. I mean, you're just giving things for people to, to play with, you know? I mean, this is just fun stuff. And uh, what am I doing here? Okay, make the same length, Pam. Pam. And uh, um, there. So you can use little bits and parts. That's totally fine. Yeah. All right, so let's pull out the big gun. This, it, oh, let me back you up a bit. This is the long arm stapler. See how it has the long arm? You can shove something, <clears throat> excuse me, way in there. Okay, so, but we don't have to go that far. All right, let's put the, the, the middle one in first and then we'll work around it. Okay, let me, I'll just, okay. So, okay. <laughs> I'm all excited, I'm using this, the, the long arm stapler, here I go. Okay, I'm putting this in about where I want it to be. And then I'm looking at the side to see where the stapler actually is going to land. Would be nice if it was straight. That's probably the biggest thing to remember. Just try and get it straight. Did I get it? Oh, I got it. Good. Okay, so I have that. Okay, so there's my one. Now let's just go ahead and put the other two in right beside it. Um, so you can staple these in. That's one technique. And if you want to use a regular stapler and you don't have one, you can always do this. Remember, you can kind of instantly have a long arm stapler by opening up your stapler. And then now you can reach very far, but make sure you have something in the background that it can staple into like a book or some foam mat, something like that, staple it. And you may have to go to the back and fold the little legs in. But if you don't have a long arm stapler, you can still do the stapling technique with a traditional stapler. Um, okay, pop this guy in and we just staple her down. What could be easier than that, right? Okay, get it in the... The margins, Pam. Get it in the margins. Okay. Try not to staple your sticker or else they won't be able to get the sticker off. Okay. So kind of keep that in mind. I think I am stapling these stickers, but um, just remember that it would be more advantageous to not staple the sticker. Um, okay. So that goes in very far and easy. And then we staple it down. Even. There we go. Okay, stay still. I've got a roaming thumb, apparently. Stay still, thumb. Thumb? Thumb, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, I had a rough night. Okay. 
fine, whatever. Okay, there we go. So that is what it looks like here. Now you can go ahead and cover that. You can put a piece of washi tape. You can also glue these down with washi tape or, or st stick it down with washi tape. That would be another option. Probably a bunch of us have washi tape. And then, and then I did nothing there. So we will do nothing there. Um, but we will decorate this on some of the next ones coming up. But what I wanted to show you on this is you can take a little piece if of see fabric or paper what we're trying to do is cover these you're too far cover these um staples that are sticking out so let's see what we got oh that's kind of pretty let's pull that over here uh, uh. okay yeah that's a pretty one okay so now I did it from front to back. You don't actually have to do that, but it makes nice decor, right? If your um, lace is wide enough to cover those. But these, I would say, I shot them down a little further, so I don't think my lace will reach. So instead of doing the front, I'm just gonna cover the back. Yeah, I'm just gonna come along and do that. That's all I'm gonna do. Keeping it super easy, super fun, and hiding my scissors from myself. Okay, the little ones, that's what I want. Okay, so cut straight. And I would think that you could use anything here. Um, I'm going to use Fabrifix glue. Oh, if you've never seen Fabrifix clear silicone glue, this is what it looks like in the bottle. I have transferred it to um, a Sugar Bells icing piping bottle for ease of distribution. It has a nice little metal tip on the end for a fine thin stream to come out so you don't waste as much glue. All right, so there we go. We have that. And place this down. You could use anything here. You could use a, a, just tear a piece of paper too. That would work easily. Um, and you don't have to worry about the, the fold or the paper tearing because it's only going to be on the back if you do it, it this way. All right, so there we go. So no, no paper clips, or no paper clips. No staples are shown. Then we have this. Then I came along and what did I do? In the magic of all the craft supply clutter, I stickled it. Okay, so let's grab some stickles. We've got, okay, we've got them right here. Uh, so I, what did I do? I went around. Let me go a little closer. Okay. Boop. All right. And I like to do the borders. I think for some reason that, um, oh, she flubs the first one. It's okay. I'm just going to carry on to, okay, down up is the technique. And uh, you can, I think you get more bang for your buck with the um, Nuvo drops because the bottle is so much bigger. These bottles are going to last about a hundred years. They flow so nice and easily in the beginning too. If they get stuck, you can clear them with a pin. Just don't cut the tip off. Don't think like, oh, I'll clear it by cutting this little tip off. Don't do that. Um, you need that little tip so you get your tiny little droplets. Okay, now another fun thing to do is run around the shape of your design. So you can uh, do this. You just start anywhere. And you, can, and you like once you get the groove, you can get going pretty fast. Um, you'll know when it's too fast. You'll slow, you'll have like, like, whoa, where am I going, Sally? But then you slow yourself down. You're like, all right, I found my happy speed. And that's kind of how it goes. And then you can, um, jazz up with a little bit of glitter glue or stickles. Now, don't get this confused with art glitter glue. Art glitter glue is a wet white glue that is great, um, dries fast, very strong, but it's basically like an Elmer's glue, but better. Um, and it doesn't do well in cold weather. Nobody knows why. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> um, even in Florida, yeah, I've had I've had issues with it in Florida. So it's it doesn't like cold weather for some reason. Um, even Floridian winter. But once the summer comes around, the glue is all happy again. Yep, and it'll do amazing things. And you can really go to town with this glitter stuff. I mean, this this is I don't know. This is I, I just could do this all day. I could glitter till the cows come home, and the glitter will stay where you put it, which is nice because it's it's a glue. Okay, Miss, I didn't give you much, so I'll give you a little bit of excitement down your your spine there. There we go. So we have that little guy. So he is done. There he is with his stickers, and somebody can just pull those off and uh, have some fun with them. Okay, so let's let's do that. Was number one. Okay, and number two was this little guy. Very easy to make. Um, let me just grab the 
I think this is from Bird Illustrations, the Digi Kit. So this is how I cut it out. I, they, I try and make them so they're easy to use. Uh, so I, I, you just cut them apart in strips, most of the things. I finally figured that out with time. I got better at it. So some of my earlier ones, not so much, but the later ones, much better. Um, okay, and this way, you can just take it and fold it in half, and you've got an instant little booklet. This I did do on cardstock, because I print most of mine on cardstock. I just find the, the thickness. It's 110 pound weight uh, premium lightweight cardstock. Um, and I just, I just think it's pretty. So now you can ink or not ink, totally your choice. I put a little paper clip. I just tied a little piece of lace on it, opened it up, and then I had um, this little design on the inside. But the way I put this sticker in, okay, we, we have to ink this one. Dooby dooby doo. It's, I've got enough brown on here still. Let's go around quickly. I think the, uh, I think the ink actually on this one looks nice, nicest on the inside. And if you want to keep the white border on the outside, you can decide whether to ink or not ink. I think I'm not going to ink. I like the way that looks. This is the inked one, and this is the uninked one. So you decide whatever you like more. And I think I like this one better. And here comes the my, my, my hubby and the pup are coming in the front door any second. Um, okay. There may be a little hoo-ha going on, that's what I'm telling you. Hello, everybody. We're filming. <laughs> Hi, Sunny. No, no, don't run away with the stickles. Come here. <laughs> okay, everybody's fine. Yep, they all look very well walked. They went to the park. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and put some stickers in here. This will be fun. Okay, now I'm excited to show you this. All right, where are the stickers? Any stickers will do, Pam. I've got like a thousand stickers over here. All right, find one. <laughs> okay, let's see what I got, what I got. Oh, yeah. Oh, these are pretty. Let's use these. Go with these. Okay, maybe I want to use these. Let's see if I could do maybe two rows. Oh, I think I can do two rows. Okay, I'm just going to cut these. This way that it'll all be uniform. Now, I don't want to use staples. So how am I going to get these to stick? Well, how about some removable, repositionable tape? That's right. Remember this stuff? Ad tech removable tape. I think I originally bought this at Hobby Lobby, but then I bought it online after that, probably through Amazon or something. So all you do, um, the removable part of it, and it doesn't even have to be removable. If you use removable, your recipient will be able to take that whole sheet off and go elsewhere with it into another book or something. If you use um, regular tape, you can use regular tape, double-sided tape, um, it, this will just stay put and they will just peel the actual sticker off and use it from here. So that's basically the difference. Both will work. Depending on what you got in your stash, go rummage around, you'll find something. Did I put anything? Oh yeah, I put a stamp. And that stamp would be not anywhere found. There it is. I see it. It's this stamp. No, I don't know where I got this from. Um, probably um, a grab bag somewhere or I bought it used on eBay. That's another good place to buy stamps. Okay, so here. Okay. Oh, there's oh, almost. <laughs> it's kind of a rolly stamp. And then I took a boop boo de boo boo de boo 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 one of these Sharpie pen fine width Sharpie marker pen. It's got a little skinny point on it. And I wrote the word create. Well, I hear Sonny playing. Yep, yep, he's playing. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a lot of hoo-ha going on over there. Oh, let me see if I can catch this. Can you see that? Yeah, that's what's going on. Hello. Yes, hi, smiley pants. Oh. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You got a lot to say? A lot to say? Yeah? Oh, and you're gone. And you're gone. Okay, there we go. See, you think he always sleeps. He doesn't always, <laughs> he doesn't always sleep. I promise you, he has bursts of play. Oh, he just ran off with my lace. Come back here. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Come back here. Sonny, come here. Come here, Sonny. I've still got the video ready. Oh, please, could I have my, here, I'll do exchange. This is what I read. Yeah, don't try and take something away. Sonny, Sonny, I got Bunny. Come here, come here. Oh, okay, here's Bunny. Go get Bunny. Okay, I got the lace. All right, I'm coming back. <laughs> I should know better. I should know better. 
Oh, it was all peace and quiet when uh, they were both out at the park. Now I have to take everything out the floor. Okay, we're good. We're good. It's all fine. Yes, little fluffer pants. Go get Bunny. All right. There, this one is done. So very easy with that tape, right? And then I just took a little paper clip. I took a gold one and I just tied a little piece of lace around it. And I use that as the closure to keep it closed. You could put this into a pocket or tuck or whatever you like. So that is number two. All right, let's put number two there. And then we have number three. Number three is the match book design. Very easy to make. I used floral motif digi kit for that, this. Um, and this is from a field guide. A little cheesecloth and a button. And it's decorated on the back because that was part of the digi kit. And then I inked around with faded jean, jeans. And when you open this one up, this is removable. Yeah, very nice, right? It actually opens up. So this one is a little wider or longer. And there you go. So let's make one of these. Very super quick and easy to make fun for the family. Okay. <laughs> oh, sunny, sunny bunny. Okay. All right, so this is what I have. I have a strip uh, cut out of this and let me just trim it up. I'm just gonna trim the sides off. Okay. Okay. So this one I left a little longer in the, uh, the bottom half. This one was a, a, a run that didn't, I stopped my printer for some reason, but that's okay because I want, let's fold it where the fold naturally is in the paper. Then we're gonna say to ourselves, this bottom half, maybe leave a quarter of an inch here and just fold it up. Okay, now I didn't have anything decorated on here, so what I did was I grabbed a butterfly uh, stamp and I used some faded jeans ink and I just came along and I inked that blank spot. So now I don't have a blank spot anymore, okay? Of course I would do it on the, yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay. And I, I believe I also rounded some of these corners, so now I will locate my rounder, my crocodile corner chomper. Where did I round? I rounded here here and the bottoms of these yeah there so it looks like that's the front flap here's the inside it's going to go like that now what you want to do is you want to take um you could take tape you could take uh, you could staple right here down low you could take tape and put some double-sided tape in there and just stick it in there i wouldn't recommend tape in this case i think it's going to be a little bit too um, it's going to get stuck on your papers. So I would take a little bit of Fabrifix glue and just roll it in the bottom here just a little bit. Okay. Cause all you're wanting to do now you're going to mush it up. So it mushes up a little bit and then probably a good idea to put a little paper clip on it. And, um, that way while we're, we're playing with the rest of it, it will, uh, adhere nicely Two paper clips. Cause I'm using the small ones and back. <laughs> Okay, there. All right, so now I'm going to go around and ink with faded jean oxide, distress oxide. Okay. Okay. I think this is a pretty color. I was a denim girl growing up. I had my bell bottoms, my super, my super wides, my bell bottoms, you name it. Yeah. Flare jeans. Remember those? Those were fun. Everything's so skinny and tight today. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, ugh, I like the flare. <laughs> uh, and you walk and your leg would swoosh, you know? That was fun, yeah. And it would make a, like a sound. Because <laughs> you had all that material. Yeah, remember those? Anybody remember? Flares, super wides, bell bottoms. And those clunky shoes. But they were easy to stand in. There was no toppling over in those. Yeah. Platforms, yeah. Wedgies, mm-hmm. All right, that should be pretty good. Let's go ahead and take that off. You can do a little test, see if it's sticking. Not quite yet, okay, let, it's just gonna take a second for the glue to dry in there, but you can come along and you can ink that while you're waiting, that's okay. All right, and we'll just carry on and decorate the rest of it while we're waiting for the inside to dry. Now, what on earth did we put in here? All right, okay, I had a weird piece of leftover something or other, and I have a few more of those, so I'm just gonna roll with it. Just gonna, this is a great way to use up your little odd things. You know, like this, this would be pretty in there too. Um, no, we would just stick that in there, kind of like that. All right. 
Let me just trim a little bit of it off so it fits. It doesn't have to be the exact same thing. We can show options. We have options. Oh, let me back up a little. You can see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to glue this down. Maybe I'm going to, maybe I'm going to ink it with the, the brown. Yeah, I'm going to do the brown. And this is probably, oh, I should have done that side. I want to do the relief, the bumpy part up towards me. Uh, just a little for, a little inking for poppage. That's it. Nothing much. Not too fancy, fast. Here's that. Okay. Run a little over the top, pick up the relief of the design. That might be pretty too. Now I'm just doing extra for the fun of it. And you're allowed to do that. Yeah, you're allowed to, you know, do something. You don't have to like cookie cutter everything. That, that looks very nice, right? Okay. Using the negative spaces of things. Very handy. You get double, double your uh, money for your supplies when you use the negatives and the positives. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thin glue beads. Very handy. <sighs> okay. There we are. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. I even think that strange little butterfly will fit in there. Let me try. Let me just, just, I don't know. It's not the exact butterfly, but I'm going to try. Okay. Oh, look at that. It fit. There we go. Now we can do it. Yep. Now we're going to do it. Even if it's not exact, it's kind of cool. Oops. All right. That, that's really neat. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. That came out really cool. Look at that. Yeah. How about that? And then down here, I put a couple just for fun, you know, but you could put a whole bunch around. You don't, you could decorate the whole back if you wanted here. And then we dun, 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 dun. It's a very butterfly sort of uh, event going on here. And then we're going to take, um, what did I use those stickers? I think I still have some of those. Okay, let's see what we got. And this is a great way to use up extra stickers, uh, parts of sticker books. Maybe you haven't used the whole thing. But, uh, or maybe um, this is a little tall. That's why I folded it in half. So let's see, I folded it in half. And if there's like any obvious sticker that's like in the fold itself, you can always peel it off and move it. Yeah. Okay, let's try that. Let's, I'm going to take you and move you. We, we can do this. It's allowed. Mm -hmm. In the world of sticker rulage, yeah, you are allowed to do that. It's okay. Okay, you probably need to move there. And you can come over here. So they're not losing. They're not getting shorted. No, they're just getting repositioned so you can fold it. All right, there we go. There. And now you can be tucked. Very easily. I probably could have almost used the whole thing. Um, I could probably just, I wonder if one of these will fit. No, nope, so it doesn't quite fit. Um, let me put something else back there. Oh, you might be nice. Yeah, let's put you in there. Um, all right, let's just cut you off. Say there. We'll put you in the back. Yeah, perfect. So we can put multiple ones in one of these, which is very fun. And then when you do this, um, you can tuck it in here. And there you go. Just make sure it folds up all nicely. And you can decorate the front if you want to do that. And here, um, since this is highly decorative here, I thought I would put something plain. Let's say, I don't, I don't have... I don't have a field guide or any of your DigiKids, Pam. What am I going to do? Okay, so this is what I would do. I would um, maybe take, since this is heavily decorated, I would take some plain white paper. Okay. I'm just taking a tear off an old receipt of something here. Here's just some plain white copy paper. And um, let's say this is rubber stamp. Do your rubber stamp trick. Okay, what color is that? Black. It always works well. That's very nice. Okay, and we just put it down here. So a simple design, black and white. Oh, I did a good impression that time. Um, I'm just going to tear it out. The old finger technique here. Okay. Sometimes the simple things are the best. There we go. Okay. We have that. Right. Okay. That. And then maybe we want to ink this just for a little bit of pop. That's right. You can make that sound. It's okay. Mm -hmm. I won't tell anybody. No, it's between you and me. Yep. <laughs> all right. Let everybody else have all that crazy hoo-ha out there. We're just going to play with paper. That's right. Uh, this again is walnut stain distress oxide. Going around the mountain here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. 
Do, 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 do. You can just put that uh, like that, completely done. Don't need any extra fuss fuss. Or um, I, uh, I think this is tea dyed and this is coffee dyed. Uh, this is gauze, this is cheesecloth. So you, you can use both. They pretty much look the same, a little bit different, but serve the same purpose. Maybe I just have a little bit here. That's all you really need is like a little bit of fuzz, you know? And the easiest way I found to apply this stuff is um, with a glue stick, which is here. Okay, I swear I had everything very close. Okay, now I know I'm going to at least glue down this size. Oh, you seem so far away. Come closer. There. Okay. Um, here. Okay. So I'm going to about round about put that there. Now I'm going to take this and I'm just going to kind of spread it out a little bit. It doesn't have to cover the whole back. Whoop, don't drop it on there. And uh, just put it like you can have it sticking out of one side. That kind of looks cool sometimes. And then we're going to do something like that. Yeah. Okay, so let's try that. Do we do good? I think we did pretty good there. Um, and I did put a button on. Voila! I have a button. This is a little uh, shell style button. Probably going to put this down with, um, I'm going to put you there. Some Fabric Fix glue where it holds buttons very well. Okay. Do something like that. There you go. All done. Very easy, right? Um, very fun. And uh, no, glue, no sewing, no stapling needed. Um, and the stickers are removable inside. So let's go on to the next one. Uh, we did that one. Okay, we have this one. A very easy concept. Okay. Copy paper, regular printer paper width. Um, and it, I already just had some prettiness in it with the embossing. If you don't have an embosser, you don't have to do this one. It's just an option. Okay, I'll have this little piece of paper. It was embossed. You see the embossing on there? And uh, I'm just going to fold it in half because that's what it was. And maybe I'll just, pun I'll get some punches. Hang on. Here, just grab any punch, ma'am. Any punch. Okay, I have this, this really pretty butterfly punch. And this is by Fiskar, I think. Maybe I'll just do one punch in this one. Okay, but I'm doing this so that the stickers can show through. That's the whole purpose of doing this, okay? Maybe I'll have to do two, see if, oh, I hope this works. All right, here we go, ready? One, two, oh yeah, part. Okay, okay, get it out, okay, back over here. All right, all right, can't see if I'm in the middle, but one, two, oh, I, okay, I punched. Yep, and it's out, okay. And it's just, okay, there we go. <laughs> That's always so nerve wracking. It, it, you have to come out gingerly because sometimes it can get stuck because it's thin paper. Oh, yeah. Come out this way. Yeah, okay. You got to kind of drop, drop. Oh, almost out. Almost. Oh, okay. We're out. Yay. Uh, there we go. We have two butterflies. All right. So now, did I ink it? Yes, I did. I inked it. Okay. So let's ink it. How about we'll do blue this time since we got the blue here and all. All right. I think the blue would be really pretty. Yeah, got that. And I think it's a good idea to ink the butterfly shapes. I think it just, I don't know, I think it looks kind of kind of cool when you do that. And the paper is easy to manipulate. You can just hold it up and do your thing here with the little, th these work well in these, this situation, these little kinds of daubers. You can use the little tiny paddle ones too, if you really want to get all fuss fuss. These tiny ones, like a toothbrush, okay? Um, there we go. So we have that. All right. And now what are we going to do? We're going to use our old friend, our old friend, removable tape. And let's see, we need sticker of choice. Any sticker will do. I'll take anything. Oh, I, I used these, right? Okay. Yeah. I thought they looked kind of cool through there. So let me do that. Let me trim this off. See if that's the right width. I think it is, which is kind of cool. They might need a G-L-H-I-K. You never know. You know, I don't want to decide for anybody, but I think that looks kind of cool. These are so easy to make, so quick. You just take the back of your stickers, run your removable tape, maybe three strips, and accidentally put it down on your table, and then pick it back up, because it is removable, and then put it back down there. And there you go. Okay, now. You could if you wanted, and I did not do that on this one, but you could take your dauber and lightly go over to pick up the um, embossing. 
Okay, that will help show the design a little bit more. If you want to do that, you can. Okay, so I did that. That shows a little bit more. And then I came along with the you-know-whats. Um, yes, the you-know-whats. Um, where are you? Okay, uh, this one I used stickles just because I left the uh, it white. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's stickles on here. But this time, this time, I think I will use the Copper Penny Nuvo Drops because they're here. And I will just, um, I think I'm going to go around and do the outsides of the shapes of the butterflies so you can see what that looks like. Oh, Holly is in fine form. I think we have uh, backup singers of the lovebirds also. Yep, there we go. There's the parrot, the big sounds. Hi, Holly. Yep, that was Holly. <laughs> He's like, uh, Mom, breakfast? Do you remember breakfast? Breakfast for the birds? Yep, yep. No, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, it's all right. I got you covered, boo-boo. Oh, he just said he loves me. <laughs> I love you too, little guy. I do. Okay. Here we go. Isn't that pretty? That's really cool, right? Okay. And then you have your cool little stickers underneath. How fun is that? Let that dry, and then you can pop that into your journal anywhere you like. Um, I could put a word on there. What? You want a word? I can do a word. Okay. Let's see how it works. I'll put create again because I have it here. Um, I guess I'll use blue because I have blue here. Put Here. There. Some instructions. Create. Yay! Okay, we got that one. Um, and then the last one, this one, whoop, oh, this one is very fun and very functional in a new way to use uh, the signature pages. Okay, so let's do this fold. It's a very simple, easy fold. And ta da do to do Okay, here we go, here we go. Here's nice. All right, so this is from Dragonfly Garden Signature Page. Okay, which normally um, I would print them on front and back so that they're just ready to pop in your junk journal for the regular pages. But let's say you have some that are only printed on one side. Uh, well, what you can do is very simply fold it in half. <laughs> he knows his name. And then very simply fold it in half again. Yes. Okay. All right. So now, now all your little opens are over here and you take the first two. So you peel back one, it's going to be blankies. You don't want that. You, you can do a lot of things with this. This is a very basic thing. Take the second one, peel it back. Oh, it's already decorated. Look how cool that is. Um, so let's take this and fold it down. So now what we're going to do is we are, um, I'm not going to sew it this time. This one was sewn around. Okay. Uh, I'm going to glue this, but I think I'm going to ink it because I'm not going to have the extra adornment of the sewing. So if I was going to ink it, I'd probably ink it in a brown, like walnut stain or gathered twigs or, you know, some of those things. Just to give it a little pa-poop, you know, a little pa-poop. And it's not necessary, but you can totally do it. And uh, we're just going to glue this little baby together. It's going to be so, so easy without sewing. Mm -hmm. No sewing necessary. Okay. All right. It's probably a good idea to use your bone folder. My bone folder is where? Nowhere to be found. Okay, so anybody see it? No? Okay, it's here somewhere. Oh, I got another one. I got a, I got backup bone folder. <laughs> you know why? Because I always misplace my bone folder. It gets thrown away in a bunch of papers. Okay, now we're just going to glue here because we're going to seal the little pocket. Okay, sealing. And then we're going to glue all this down. And you can do other things here. You can do a Rita Donnelly flip. You can do all sorts of things. But I'm going to be Sally Boring Pants and just seal it up. It's not Sally Boring Pants. It's just another way of doing it. It's okay. <laughs> and uh, there we go. All right. And we're, we're pretty much done. Okay, here, check this. You can do another pocket back here. But like I said, Sally Boring Pants today. It's very simple. Very easy. I need a little bit of... Um, inking here just for fun. Okay, so that is our basic shape. And it's all decorated already. It has prettiness everywhere. Um, I th where's my prototype? Sometimes I forget what I made. All right, yep, here. Okay, so what did I do? I put a little uh, butterfly 
And what I did was I had a piece, see it's still in here, I had a piece of embossed paper that I'm just like saving because I knew I'd use it for something, and a tiny butterfly stamp, and you, you can, you can, you don't have to use it, I'm just showing you exactly what I did so you can, in case you want to make it the same way you can, but I, you guys have great imaginations and you don't need my help, you just do whatever you want. And um, my little dauber with the brown, making it extra brown, because I just, I wanted more pop. Yeah. I did it on the wrong side. Okay, I like it with the bump up. Yeah, like facing me, the embossing toward my face. Yes, I don't know how to describe that other than the bump is coming towards me as opposed to impressed down and making valleys. I want mountains. Okay, that's a weird butterfly, but we're gonna put it down. And then I used the word create because that was the one I had here. Okay, what are we doing on time? I oh, can't read that. Oh, man. Okay. All right. And so we're going to wrap this up. Um, okay. Okay. Where's the... There it is. No, that's a butterfly. Where's the word? Here it is. I got it. Create. Oh, I'm going to maybe try pink this time. But I think it would look nice in brown. Let me use brown. Yeah. Okay. Straight. Okay. So we have that. And then you want some stickers to put in it. So let's say we have some of these. I almost forgot the stickers. I got so excited about <laughs> making the little thing. Um... All right, so maybe I can have these, but I gotta cut them to size. So let's try here. That would be good. Oh, these are not too wide. I could be more careful doing this, but you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. Okay, there we go. I'll tuck them this way, and you can't see. <laughs> okay, and you can you can layer them if you want. So you show you have multiple. Um, or, uh, there we go. And, uh, maybe if I want to do something along here, just to, I don't know, I just do something. I have these little white butterflies. These are pretty. Um, let me just, just ink those just a little bit on the edge. So yeah, if you had fun here, please like, subscribe, and share. My videos come out on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. I have a free monthly emailed newsletter. Hey, if you haven't signed up for that, make sure you do because you get a free digital image every month, a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker, which explains what a junk journal is, plus page ideas list, um, along with junk journal tips, updates from me, you name it. The link is down below in the description box. And I have an Etsy shop where you're going to find occasional journals and bundles. I always have my vintage digi kits available for you there. And, um, um, I sell fundals, which are collections of old and interesting papers for junk journals. And also, um, do, 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 do. print and mail. I offer a print and mail service if you don't have a printer, but you would like me to print the uh, digikits out for you, I will do that. It's a one fee for 10 digikits, and um, you don't need to purchase the individual digikits. Just send me a name, a list of the 10 names, either to Pam at thepaperoutpost.com, which is my email address, or um, you can send me the list in Etsy message. So let me show you what we made today. Um, I also have a merchandise shop. And if you're looking for an interesting t-shirt or sweatshirt or something like that um, with Create with Reckless Abandon on it, I got you covered for yourself or for a friend. Uh, very fun, very easy. Um, oh, let me back up so you can see all of these. We made quite a bit. We did, we did good today. We got some work done. Yeah, we sure did. We sh oh! <laughs> Are you still there? Oh yeah, you're still there. You know, Things can go a little crazy as in, in the craft room. I know. I know you can understand, right? It's happened to you, right? It's not just me. No. Okay. Let's put all of our little goodies, all of our little goodies everywhere, what we did. I think that's everybody. So I hope you had fun here today. And where's Mr. Flufferpants? Oh, I found Mr. Flufferpants. Come here. You want to say hello? You already had a little, um, I'm sorry, you're just dropping the kibble out of your mouth. Um, there, I saw the kibble out of your mouth. I hope so. You want to say hello to everybody? You want to say hi to the people? Hello, everybody. I had an awesome time at the park, and then I chased Stuffed Bunny, and I think you guys saw me. I was quite, I was quite, I was in great form. Yes, lots of energy, and I think I'm going to go back to sleep now. Take care, everyone. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs> okay, bye-bye, Sonny. All right, guys, take care. Have fun. We'll talk to you next time. Create with reckless abandon, and remember, fun can be simple. Bye-bye.